Hello YouTube and Tribe of the Horror Realm. Uh, this is a um, two-part video. Well, one video, but it's going to cover a couple things. Uh, we can, recent acquisitions to the collection and a quick shout out thank you. And I'm going to do that one first and that's to um, Horror Collectible Guy. Um, he's new to YouTube. I'm going to throw his link down at the bottom. Check him out. He's a big fan. Definitely will fit in really well with the rest of the horror community. Thank you very much for uh, checking out our channel and um, for the shout out. Um, your video alone, I was able to find a couple people that I didn't even uh, know about, which I think is what's great about the, this is that you it's a lot of networking and you're finding new people that um, you haven't crossed paths with on YouTube for one reason or another. I mean, there's people that I can't even believe I didn't, I don't, haven't subscribed to them or, or I thought I did or something. I'm like, wow, I really didn't subscribe to him? Geez, sorry. So, um, anyhow, that's horror guy, uh, horror collectible guy, and uh, definitely check him out de and subscribe. Add him as a friend. Um, now, of course, uh, the other thing was going to be some updates of recent acquisitions. Now, um, one of the things that is going on, right up until the 21st, um, Barnes and Noble is having their annual Criterion sale. 50% off all Criterions. Um, so even with Barnes and Noble's traditional overinflated prices, you can still get a really good deal. Um, and the f first thing I did was uh, when I was up there was grab a few uh, Blu-rays. Um, this one, Sallow, the 120 Days of Sodom. Really upbeat film. Thanksgiving dinner, throw it on for the kids. They'll enjoy it. Uh, gonna love me some Guillermo del Toro, so I grabbed uh, Kronos on Blu-ray. Can't go wrong there. And um, House, this is the 1977 Obayashi uh, film. No William Cat. And uh, they were out of it at the time, so I ordered it, and I got my email saying that it's ready for pickup. It's the Blu-ray of um, Island of Lost Souls from 19... 32, I believe. Um, 34. Anyways, um, perfect opportunity to add another good title for a fraction of the cost. I mean, guys, it, Criterion Blu-rays for $20, you can't really uh, beat the price. Um, can't remember if I did this one in my uh, Halloween collection video. Um, this is the last uh, VHS, excuse me, DVD I had add, added. This is the 25th anniversary edition of Halloween, and you can see from the 18 there, this is a UK disc. Um, the other, next DVD that I was able to pick up, and um, I know a few of my friends out there that are... Um, Halloween heads are going to really like this one because it's kind of unique. It is a Greek DVD or promo DVD, they say. The full 92 minutes, so it's a full movie. And there you go. As far as um, kind of cheap packaging, though, huh? Those clamshell. But hey, it's pretty cool. Um, now, I have a bunch more coming probably in the next week or so with some other stuff I was able to acquire. Um, but for now, this is the first one. Uh, thanks to Halloween Night 1986, Master Halloween Collector, um, I was able to learn and now become even more anal attentive about my um, Halloween stuff. So this is, uh, I've been trying to catch up on a lot of the older Halloween releases. Now, I have one of these in my collection. I have a 1981 release, the first release in this box. But this is a, actually a um, sealed, factory sealed copy. If you can see right along here, blue, that's the media logo on actually on the, uh, the plastic. So, uh, it's pretty cool to have a, a sealed copy. However, I have no idea what year the uh, tape inside has. 
and uh, finally I was able to procure this after doing some research and now I'm, that I'm doing this video I'm forgetting the actual um, job description but this is a um, s small perfect bound script for attack of the 50 foot woman and uh, these were actually put together and given out to um, members of the crew as a little thank you gift and um, this one here was originally given to a woman named Karen and it's inscribed dearest Karen just plain thanks love Deborah well why would I have since I'm not Karen who would I want that's Deborah Okay, I can see at least Tim going, ah, I know. Yeah, 410 Goodfellas knows what it is. And I did research to make sure it was kind of legit. Even though her last name isn't on there, it's the late Deborah Hill. So this, is, for now, is my Deborah Hill autograph. Until I can actually get maybe a cut signature of the full name. Um, but... She did work, uh, had a pretty big role in the 54 Woman movie. So I was able to grab this one as a little uh, something. So that's about it. Uh, like I said, coming up, I'll have a few more uh, VHSs uh, that are coming in. Um, hopefully by another by the end of the month, I'll have a poster update as well. I've got a bunch of posters that are uh, coming in. I just haven't had the time to have them shipped yet. I usually like to do it all at once since they save on postage that way. Um, so that's it. Hope everyone has a great weekend coming up and um, we'll be back with some more uh, updates. Thanks a lot.